Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Electors Lineage 2! Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's get real now. How did I manage to get from level 1 to level 51 in 3 days in the new server RPG Club times 5 Low rates in Lineage 2 are a bit hard because you need to farm a lot to level up but if you know what to do if you know the right things what you have to do and the right time to do them at what level you can level up really fast and what I did is a proof that I managed to get to level 51 so fast in three days and I didn't even play a lot I just played a little you will not call this uh, farming or being burnt out from what I did so how I did it first of all when you create your character you can kill mobs in the starting area and you can also go a, bit, a little bit outside if you want but you can stay there up to level 9 it's it's better if you go outside to be honest so that you can get to level 10 because inside the first zone you cannot really get to level 10 uh, you need to kill a few more mobs outside so at level 10 you go to the village and you get the newbie help the weapon it gives you a shadow weapon a no great weapon but it is great help this kind of weapon also if you kill some of those monsters outside the starting area you will get some uh, nice drops like outside the elven village you can get jewels earrings rings necklaces and outside other villages i got tunics pants um, robes you know light armor etc so it's nice to get these little drops even if they're worthless but they do help a lot in the beginning so step one is at level 10 go and get the shadow weapon from the newbie helper npc then you continue and you farm at about level 20 you can start doing the class quest and when you complete it it's normally not very hard to do you will also get the shadow weapon degrade you will get these coupons you can exchange them so it's, imp it's important that you get this weapon because it's free and it really is better than the, shad the no grade one also you should have enough money to buy a, a common set a common D grade set not the regular ones buy common items they're much cheaper so now that you are that you have completed the first class quest you should be around level 26 you have your equipment degrade and then you should do a laba a laba 29 you do this in gludio so go there be prepared have everything your armor your shots and be prepared and do a laba 29 get a party in the first days of the server you may not be able to get an instance very easily i couldn't but i waited one day i didn't continue playing with that character i made a second character and i just let that character at level 26 so on the next day i joined some parties for laba and still there were not enough instances but i asked them to give me the party leader and I was just clicking all the time at the Kamaloka NPC clicking 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 and after a couple of minutes I managed to get us inside now uh, at the server most of the people have leveled up so there are not so many new people doing Laba 29 you should be able to do it really fast um, so when you do Laba 29 and you're 26 or you're 27 or maybe you're 28 depending you will get after that you will get 34 or 36 
depending on vitality and what level you started this instance. So you get so many levels just by doing a LABA. And now that you're 36, you can start doing the class quests. When you get level 40, you stop doing the class quests, you interrupt it, have a break from them, and you go and do the Cousteau quests. What are the Cousteau quests? The Cousteau quests are a series of quests that start in Giran at the blacksmith. Cousteau is the name of the NPC in Giran blacksmith. You just go to him at level 40 and you get the quest that will send you to Kruma. You teleport to Dion and then to Kruma Tower. I've done this many times, mostly because it gives Adina. People call it the Adina quest. It gives 1.3 million, I believe. And uh, it also gives you levels. Not only does it gives you Adina, which is which are where money is. So it is a great help. For example, you can use it to buy uh, C-grade equipment or if you want, you can do a Kookaburra quest because, as you can see, I'm a healer and I need my Kookaburra, so you need to have... I think it's, I think the, uh, the item costs around 400,000, this working hammer that you need. And, uh, oh, someone here. Hello. Um, and yeah, yeah, so it's very helpful to get some Adina when you're starting on this server. Oh, this guy is doing the noblest quest. Really? I'm curious now. What clan is this? Black Arrow. I'm curious now. <laughs> okay, he's on A grades. Okay, and after this little spying break, let's continue with our leveling. So, you do the Cousteau quests. This is a series of quests. The NPC will send you to an NPC outside the Kruma Tower and then it will send you to Nicola, which is nearby. When Nicola gives you the choice, you choose the second one because this one will give you access to more quests, which means more Adina. I believe that uh, the choice is called for how long are you two going to, to keep fighting or something like this. So when you complete uh, these quests and also the class quests, you will be around level 47, 46, 47, that's about it. And then you go to Heine. And you do a LABA. I believe it's it's LABA. I don't remember the level, guys. Just need to check at the NPC. That's what I did, at least. And you get to le around level 49. You don't get a lot of levels. You get just a couple, two or three levels, depending on your vitality. After that, I went to Seal of Shillen. And I farmed a dinner there. I farmed Adina and XP, mostly because I wanted to buy a Carmian set and I couldn't afford it really because I wanted to have the normal set which gives uh, P defense um, plus 5% and casting speed plus 15%. So for that you need the Carmian tunic, the stockings and the gloves. You need to buy them and not buy common items. And so the rest of the items that I have are common. The boots and the helmet and the weapon and also the jewels. Oh, what is that? Box of experience. Cool. I don't know where I got that from. Oh, and remember that your shadow item exchange coupon you have to get the weapons while you are 
on the levels that represent this grade because I tried to get a D grade weapon when I was 40 and the NPC would not give me. So it's a good idea to just exchange with a few weapons, maybe three or four if you want to have more. I've never used more than three weapons to be honest, but uh, just to be sure if you forget it on you, just get a couple of weapons. So um, after Shiel of Shilin, you will have more Regina. You have gotten XP and what I did at uh, I think it was I was level 49 or I was level 50. Maybe I was 50, 52, maybe. So at level 52, I was looking for a party in toy. I found one. I went there XP for a while. People left. It was really good XP. I couldn't find any more party. So what did I do? What did I do? I opened a party of my own. And you will not believe how many people rushed into the room immediately. So people are just waiting for someone to open a room and create a party. This is incredible. So how do you do this? I made a part. I opened a room for levels uh, 52 to 57. And I just took a full party, nine people. And we went there in toy three on the third floor. And we just started killing things. The XP was incredible really amazing and uh, what classes do you need to take you need to have a bishop you need to have a sword singer a blade dancer um you need to have an elven elder or a shilin elder for the recharge for charging and helping a little bit with the uh, healing and then you need to have damage dealers preferably no mages because they tend to die very easily and I think the mobs there are resistant to magic I'm not sure right now but I think so so it's best to get some orcs as damage dealers berserker or you can also take some summoners they're good DPS um, what other damage dealers can you get? Yeah, you know, Grand Cavatari. Um, even dwarves you can get. Dwarves are also good. All, all, all the melee type of damage dealers are good. Mages not so much. Archers maybe not so much. <laughs> um, and yeah, so... Let's summarize. I will show you here my text document. So you can see here. Let me... Can I do this? Um, let's try. Okay. So we have... 1. At level 10, get the newbie help weapon. No great. 2. At level 20, do the class quest and get the newbie shadow weapon D when complete. 3. At level 26, do a lab at 29. 4. You will be level 36. If not, go kill a few mobs to get 36 and start doing the class quest. Actually, the class quests may be not hard, but they just take a long time. But they give a lot of XP, so you will get a lot of levels. And when you don't have Adina to buy the second occupation, it's really worth doing it. So, at 36, do the class quests. In between, at level 40, do the Cousteau quest. 6. Do a Laba. 7. Go to Shield of Shield, kill stuff, get Adina and XP. 
and then eight start creating parties for toy three and that's it for today from me guys have fun enjoy the game don't spend your whole life on this game xp intelligently and have regular breaks have a nice day